Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As every Thursday, I'm gonna show you the Forzaton and also the championships that the cars have been taking. So let's have a look first at the photo channel. The photo ch challenge. Um, what do we need to do? We need to take a fort and we need to take a picture at Derwent Water. So basically, you can just stand here around this big lake, get into a fort, doesn't matter which one, and then just make a picture. Very easy. Then let's have a look at the Forzaton shop. The Mitsubishi Starion. It's an okay car. It's, uh, well, since we have a thousand spots in the garage, you can always buy it. Uh, the Renault 5 Turbo, also a very cool car, by the way. It's not a bad car. And then we have the Ken Block stuff. Now let's have a look at the weekly challenge from the Forzaton. So we need to have a retro saloon. Then we have to drive 20 miles or 34 kilometers. We need to have three stars on a danger sign at the Broadway Mundmill. And we need to win a street scene event at Edinburgh Newtown. Now you do have a few retro saloons. I tuned a lot of them, uh, but it was not easy to actually get a decent one for this but. I took the 2003 BMW M5. Now, why it has some special gearing in it, when you go to the race, race transmission, suddenly the car is like, goes from 300 to 400 kilometers an hour. It's extreme uh, difference when you change the race trans uh, the transmission to a race one. So basically here also you see a stunt, uh, you need a certain speed. Uh, but here is a Broadway windmill, so if you stand here as, oh, at the map and you are lucky that you don't hit traffic, I'll show you, you will have already one stunt and also the phototon. So let's hope there's not too much traffic. The car has a way higher top speeds, but I had to change the downforce on the car for the race actually. So as you can see, the car flies far enough to actually do the Forza Ton challenge. Now this one you just go up and down the highway and this one, well, just put it on new racer and you will see the car is decent tuned and fast enough, grippy enough to actually win this. Well, basically that's it for the Forzaton. So let's have a look at the trial. I'll put everything off, there you go. So for the trial, we need GT cars, A800. So let's have a look at the GT cars. And there you go. So you see, you have several cars. I did a trial. I saw people with, uh, with the Bentley, uh, also with the M6. But the car that I took for this was actually this one. The 2015 Jaguar F-Type R Coupe. Why? It doesn't have the highest top speeds, but it is very fast and grippy and good in cornering. Uh, this is also a good car, and this is also a good car, this is more a safe car, but this one, well, I won every race with it, so it's uh, very easy to drive. Also, this is basically also a good car, but I took this one because it's also a cheap car and a fast car. Now, what can you win? You win a Quartz Regalia. Now, if there are people that never had that car, I'll take one, this here. Now, you win this car from the trial, um, but the thing is, as you can see, there is the big Regalia D in it. So, if you put every perk point on it, it's a lot of perk points, um, I'm not sure how many yet, um, I'm not gonna count, this is already 100, and if you go up like this, uh, let's see, 99, uh, let's say 100 
30 points and then you will actually get the car that's in the car okay let's go to the next one playgrounds let's see what we need uh, playgrounds was here so we need a b700 country united kingdom so let's have a look what we have country and then we go to the united kingdom now what can we take for that that's always a good question um for this one um this little one is a fast car uh i'd see the mini traveler is also a fast car so i'm gonna see i'm probably gonna take uh, the mini or one of the minis um i know they fast for that so but i will show that on the stream so i'm a day late yes uh this is also actually a very good car to do that uh this one goes in every class still eight classes that's a very good car so you can also take that one i have a tune and four classes for that one now what can you win from that as you can see the awesome martin vanquist 2017 then let's go to the next one here we need the a800 modern sports car so let's have a look what we have in that so let's go to a and then modern uh, sports car excuse me there you go now you have a few options uh the alfa romeo is a good car you can also use it in the other championship uh, where you only have to can use uh, alfa romeo so you can use that for two championships i actually took the alpine uh, the new alpine for that um this one is also a very good car speeds are always like that car uh this one is a very good car and but i did take this one but if you do not want to spend a lot of money you can take the alpha 4c for actually two championships now what can we win from that we win uh what did we win again let me have a look I th ah it's the toyota gt86 it's the it's a new car actually <coughs> let's go to flying 50s we need a c600 from 1950s for street race so let's have a look at the year and then we go to the 50s now the car that i took for that is the smiley car where is it let me have a look i do not ah there it is that's the car i took for that championship um you need to be a little bit careful it slides a little bit but it's really fast um at corner so just break on time and you will have no problems winning that championship um there are a few cars um but i don't have them tuned let's have a look uh this is the only car because i really like that car uh it's good like i said before it's good in in four classes now what we win from that is the jaguar t-type then let's go to the last championship this is the a-class 8 uh, uh, 800 alfa romeo also in street so we need an alfa romeo and like i said you can actually use this car in the two championships that's the car that i took um and I really liked it. I have no problems. You can also take this one if you want. Uh, I didn't tune that car, but just the 4C. It's cheap and you can just use it on two. What can we win from that? We win the Alfa Romeo 8C Forza Edition. That's this one. Okay, let's go to the stunts. So this one, well, basically... I already did that for the Forza Ton uh, with the BMW, the M5. You just need to have a certain speed. And if you start here, you can have this one and also the Forza Ton here. Then this one. Oh, this one has always been a little bit of an annoying one. 
Well, I'm sure not gonna take it in this car. You can, you just take a nice dirt car. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one. Just make sure it's uh, fast enough. Um, I just take my muzzler. You can take the Hoonigan or the normal Ford RS200. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You just need to make sure that you don't fly into the houses. There you go. Uh, this is... Okay, I made it. So you need to fly a little bit to the left and you will be okay. Then here we have a drift zone. This drift zone is also um, is getting exploited by drifters that want to have the highest score and just make circles around it. So it's pretty sad that it's not fun anymore for to do that. Okay, now a drift car. Uh, as you all know, I like drifting, so I got a lot of drift cars. But for if you want it very simple. At the beginning of the game, this car was extremely easy to drift. It's actually the BMW, the fourth edition, the M6. I have a lot of compliments uh, of this tune that is so easy to drift. So I'll just take that car and drift it. But basically you can drift it with every car. You just start from here as you can see you can just do it in third gear there you go so that was more than enough um, for this drift zone so it's not really a hard one to do now let's have a look at the two new cars that we get if i get out of here i'll just go here and there you go so first here we have the lexus esf that you get at 50 percent so let's have a look at that lexus here it is Now this is the A class, so we need to have a look what it does. Um, we have to tune it. It's of course it's a real wheel drive, as usually when we get a new car. Well, I definitely do not like the engine sound. Not sure what happened to the engine, but I'm not a really a fan of it. Well, but that doesn't matter. Uh, let's see in the insides. There you go. And then the other new car is the Toyota. So let's have a look at the Toyota. There you go. This is the BRZ. Um, what is that? The Subaru. BRZ is basically the same car as this, um, it just has a different sign on the car, it's either Toyota or Subaru. Also real wheel drive and it is C-Class, very interesting for a car like this that it is C-Class. Also here we need to check out how it looks uh, after tuning. Let's have a look in the car. There you go. Well, I'm sitting on the wrong side since I'm from Belgium. There you go. So, that's it. I hope my car choices helped you again with the Forza Ton and also the cars for to do the championships. I'll probably be streaming tonight. Uh, it's Friday. As I said, I've been a day later because of uh, health problems and all kind of stuff so hopefully i see you tonight on my stream on twitch okay bye bye